What is up, everyone? Welcome back to the Crypto Blitz, your home for your crypto fix. I'm your host, Triple Van Winkle. Hopefully, everyone's having an amazing day. What a busy morning it has been for me. I've been in meetings non stop they are finally over i love it two more days to vacation not too shabby now is it but we got a lot to go over because a lot's been going on in crypto within the past i would say 12 hours we need to talk about the old coins the fun flows how about short term what are we looking at out there folks the fed are they pivoting bearable guy yeah he's back everyone bearable guy is back with a new picture wait till i show you this i like what i'm seeing because i think the crypto winter is behind us bullish we're going to talk about the diamonds going on out there total cryptocurrency market cap and then mateko big old moves because of someone who worked for mateko is now going to work for good old ripples so without further ado let's jump into this Bitcoin, $42,422, currently up 1.48% in the past 24 hours. Ethereum, coming in at 2193, it's up 0.86%. USDT and USDC both remain at their dollar pegs as XRP is a mean lean 60 cents, coming in at a 0.39 upside evaluation in the past 24 hours. The past hour chart's not looking so hot, I know. But we are seeing green in the 24-hour chart. Let's see what we can do and hold before the end of the day. Total cryptocurrency market cap, $1.6 trillion not bad at all remember we're looking at 1.75 on the upside with a possibility of a downside crash to all the way down to 1.25 trillion coin does put this article out first mover americas all coin rallies as bitcoin climbs back to 43k this was posted this morning i mean self the chart is pretty much self-explanatory we're seeing a lot of the alt push on up move forward as we see bitcoin make that move on up it got to 43,000. we're hanging in the lows 42s right now let's see where this goes let's continue looking into this let's see what is going on out there uh, there's a lot to happen that, that could possibly happen before the end of the year. That's how simple it is. Then we talk about fun flows. We'll get this. All the fun going around in crypto. XRP is the biggest dropper. XRP is the, the biggest loser. It's all fun. It's all bull crap and it's all nonsense. XRP beats out Bitcoin and Ethereum. In the weekly fund flows will boost 2.7 million in inflows. So over the past week, cryptocurrencies like XRP have stolen the spotlight from the digital asset investment products of Bitcoin and Ethereum. It stated in here, Peter report, crypto investment products witnessed a departure from the recent streak of inflows. It registered a minor outflow amounting to 16 million. The shift comes after a remarkable 11 week period of consistent inflows. Despite the outflows, the overall trading activity maintained robust figures, surpassing the year-to-date average, specifically the weekly total reaching $3.6 billion, showcasing a market difference from the yearly average of, of $1.6 billion. I thought it was 16 excuse me. But what do we see for the flows by asset? Bada beam, bada boom. XRP 2.7, well, Bitcoin was at a negative 32, and Ethereum was at a negative 4.3 this is by the million folks so everyone still wants to go out there and fund it i don't think so credible crypto short term michael bobby he says probably the only analyst i give credit to for the short-term price action which is notoriously hard he maps out the probable scenarios in a full rational framework for the path ahead the demand and supply zone the cme gaps and the elite wave structures i think a consolidation of basing around in a low 40 series actually quite healthy after the big run-up to the point and will set bitcoin up nicely for end of year for a new year push so what's cred we're looking at here it's simple you know, we sweep the lows, which we are. We get a little consolidation before the end of the year. I'm telling you, we might be seeing the Christmas miracle here. We might be seeing Bitcoin push to 50,000, which is going to be bullish, which is hopefully take XRP above that 70 cent resistance and get us close to that dollar mark like I have been asking for for quite some time. Maybe Rep is going to get an early Christmas gift. The Fed's pivot, it's really important. The press conference was a novish, as anyone expected the market to be behaving that way, says Mike Novogratz. We are going to get the ETF before. January 10th. Oh, what does Novogratz know? Does he have that secret line into the into the SEC? I don't know. Listen up. Bitcoin is up, uh, as we mentioned this morning. It's up about 14% this month alone. Way up 
for the year. I don't know how much. The next, next guess probably there's 80 percent or something. Let's get right into it uh, with crypto and the broader markets following um, what the Fed said last week. Joining us is Galaxy Digital uh, CEO uh, Mike Novogratz. And, and uh, I don't know how you'd weight all the different things, Mike, but for a while it looked like we, the, the, the Bitcoin price came off 25,000, started headed up based on some of the, the spot ETF conjecture. But this latest move, which really accelerated, had a lot more to do uh, with, with, you know, what you think as an alternative to fiat, as an alternative to, to money printing when the Fed said, yeah, we may go back into an easing phase again. And then it was off to the races. Yeah, Bitcoin up 150% on the year. 150. That's set again um, for all the Bitcoin skeptics out there. Uh, a little victory lap. Uh, listen, the, the Fed's pivot is really important. That press conference was as dovish as anybody expected. And the markets are uh, behaving that way. You look at, uh, you know, fixed income markets, uh, equity markets, they all are now trading a Fed pivot. And is it, you know, March, January, or do they wait till the, the April meeting? Uh, we'll see. You know, we'll see what their narrative is. We'll see what the inflation data is. But this is all based on inflation coming down, and it's not based on growth collapsing. Um, and so they shifted to an inflation, a more inflation-focused uh, uh, Fed, uh, which gives them the, the room to, to, to cut rates. I think crypto likes it. Uh, we're going to get this ETF before January 10th. That's kind of the drop dead date that Gensler has before he gets in trouble with uh, uh, Grayscale uh, and the lawsuit. Um, and so I think you're going to see this, you know, announced. It won't start trading then, right? That probably takes six to eight weeks after that. But uh, it's just. That's interesting, right? We get it announced before January 10th, then takes almost two months for it to begin trading, which puts us close to the Bitcoin halving. I don't know. Is everything being lined up like we thought it would be? Interesting, isn't it? Variable guy. We haven't heard from him in quite some time. Look, he upgraded, updated his picture. You can see we got the snowballs with the little flower. Does that mean crypto winter is over? And here comes the spring flowers. Perhaps, oh, come on, folks. Everyone loves a good, a little good, a bearable guy picture. Where has he been? I know a lot of you listen to this. He's probably the one that got you stuck or caught up into this with all the riddle things. I mean, come on. The flower, snowball. I'm waiting for when those snowballs disappear to see what happens. I've been waiting for that for quite some time. I'll be very interesting. I want to know what happens when, you know, we start getting down the hill and they're all gone. Then what? Then what happens? Interesting. I know. You don't got to tell me. Bitcoin dominance. Eager Crypto says, memorize this Bitcoin dominance cycle table. Let you go to guide ahead. There you go. Bitcoin dominance. Increase, increase, increase. Decrease, decrease, decrease. Then what happens? Bitcoin price increases. Then what happens? All coins, their price decreases. But as we get to the bottom of this and we see the Bitcoin dominance decrease and we see the Bitcoin price become stable, we start to see the all coin prices increases. And what do you have to throw in front of here? Well, it's very simple. Let the stock market go first. Stock market goes first, and Bitcoin, then Ethereum, then the altcoins. You can follow this chart right here. Very well put together. I love what I'm seeing here, and it's spot on. Bitcoin, as the dominance goes down and the Bitcoin price stabilizes, you are going to see the altcoins go on a moon mission. Total cryptocurrency market cap. Jim Kramer calls out. To get Jim Carrey calls to get out from crypto, while total market cap is taking talking differently. Only a few will survive and will handle a 23 trillion by January 2025 and all the money into circulation, including colossal debt by January 2027. Here's his targets. Well, he's he's going for over 23 trillion to be in the crypto markets by 2025. Very interesting. Is it possible? Yes. We've talked about this narrative before. We talked about how we have to get here, what needs to be done to get here. What we need to see is ETF approvals. We need to see clear regulations and guidelines within the U.S., once that happens, we need to start seeing these advisors from like your Fidelities or your Schwabs start telling their clients to take, you know, anywhere from one to five percent, maybe even a one to ten percent, depending on, on your age, depending on how risky you want to get and have that money start to be moved into the cryptocurrency markets. If all of this can play out, 
we can get to this $23 trillion market cap. It is possible. I've seen the charts. I've covered the charts that have stated this before. And if we do get up that high, we are looking at about a $24 XRP, which is absolutely beautiful as well. But the question is, A, are we going to get those regulations, clear regulations? B, are these ETFs going to get approved? I believe that's already done. So now it's really coming down to are the regulations going to be put in place? And I believe if we do get ETFs, that the regulations will be put into place because we need regs before you can get ETFs. You can't just have ETFs and not have regs. So I do think they play hand in hand. But the big question here, are we going to see a rotation from traditional markets into the cryptocurrency markets? And how big is that allocation going to be? If we can see money move from traditional markets, 1% to 5% will be conservative. Move over into the cryptocurrency markets. We can see a $23 trillion cryptocurrency market cap by January 2025, folks. We 100% can see that. And then to finish it off in a noble turn of events, Matego CEO, Adrian Tarizzini. He's now been named at the SVP at Ripple. I wonder why. Well, I mean, Ripple bought Matego. Why would you get rid of their CEO? You don't. He knows their side of the business. You move him over, you slide him in as the SVP. Over at Ripple, it's like nothing's ever changed. You have all his knowledge, all his expertise. You put a team under him, you hit the ground running. I like what they did there. A very smart move, folks. I'm going to leave it like that. Listen, I want you to enjoy the rest of your Tuesday. Wash your damn hands. Be nice and be kind to of each other. Ripple Van Winkle is out.